Hey guys, welcome back to our project. This is the last part of the series. In this part, we are going to deploy our project to Virtual. We are also going to refactor our project. Okay, so let's prepare the code for the deployment. Just go to your code editor. So basically, you need to manage the environment variables. So currently, we are getting the URL as this localhost 3000. Look at this, this localhost 3001. We need to replace this with the environment variables. Now in Virtual, you can use the Virtual URL as the base endpoint. So let me just talk about this. Just go to your documentation. Okay, I'll put the link of this documentation in the description box, although I'm sure that you are not gonna check this. Anyway, just look at the system environment variables. Here under this, you can see this virtual environment, virtual URL, and this virtual URL, just look at the description, the URL of the deployment. So this is the base endpoint. But the best thing about the system variable is, this is automatically populated by virtual. So you don't need to manage this externally. But, 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 we are not gonna use that. There are a couple of reasons behind this. First one is if you use the virtual URL as the base endpoint, it will only work if you deploy the project in virtual. So let's say someday you decided to deploy the project in some other platform. In that case, you need to reconfigure the project. So we are going to avoid that. And the second point is I personally face some weird bugs with this virtual URL. There are also some GitHub issues regarding the virtual URL. So just avoid that. Okay, so just go back to your code editor. We are going to use the layman way. So just go to your env.local. Cool. We are going to set up a base endpoint or I should say API base endpoint. <laughs> so just create a variable API all in caps base endpoint cool so this is currently localhost 3001 right so just get that localhost 3001 go to your env.local and put this nice and then just replace this with this API base endpoint okay just use the template string so just go to all the URL and replace this. So using dollar and I can get the environment variables using process dot env dot this API base endpoint. Cool. So just copy this and then anything else in this page? Nope. Just go to donate dot tsx. Okay. Here I have this in the client side. In this client side. But now here's the thing about this client side. If you want to use this variable in the client side, you need to use the next public as the prefix. So what I mean by that is, look at this, this is add donation in DB and this is used in the browser side, right? So if I just use this, if I just use this as this, as this process.env.api base endpoint, this is not gonna work. We need to use next public as the prefix. So for that, again, just go to .env.local and duplicate this, but this time just use next public. Okay, so basically we are creating total three environment variables. One is this MongoDB URI, second is this API base endpoint, and third one is this next public API base endpoint. So just copy this, just go to this donate.tsx and replace this. Cool. Okay, fine. Anything else? Anywhere else? Uh huh. Just go to stats, statistics. Where is the stats? Yeah, here it is. There is nothing in the client side, but there is in the there is something in the server side. Yep, this one. So just replace this dollar process dot env dot not next public but only api base endpoint okay dollar and yeah fine cool save this and i think i have substituted all the local 3001 yeah cool so just save this save all the files and now just create a github repository and push this code to the main branch so let's do that Close this. Nice. I already have a GitHub repository. So just copy all these three codes. Let me just commit this. Like prepared for deployment. Just go to main. Git switch main. Yep, let me just merge this. S2 and yep done okay done so now I can commit I don't need to use this commit but yeah that's okay prepare for deployment cool main branch is clean fine now let me just copy all these codes again and just run this so I'm pushing the code to the main branch and let it push 
Meanwhile, you just go to Vartsal. So let's go to Vartsal.com and create an account. I already have an account, but remember to create an account with the GitHub because that's the best way to create an account for the coders. Okay, so mm -hmm. now after creating the account, you should have this dashboard. Just go to this new project and then from this Git repository, just choose your Git repository. Mine is this Save Walter YTube, not YTube, YouTube, buddy. Okay, you can change the project name. This is Save Walter, that is fine. And then this framework preset, this is Next.js, that is fine. Root directory dot slash, that is okay. Build and output settings, you don't need to touch this. I mean, next build is the default. And then this environment variables, here you need to set up the environment variables. Okay. So just grab this Mongo URI and just go to env.local. Where is that? Here it is. Just copy this Mongo URI, the key, just go to Varsal and set this name and the value. Just copy this and put it here. Add. Nice. And then I have this base endpoint. Look at this. So just save this API base endpoint. So just copy this API based endpoint. Just put it here. But what is the value? You have not yet deployed the project, so you don't have the value, right? So the best thing you can do is just leave this for now. And then after deploy the project, we are going to reconfigure this and redeploy the project. Okay. So just for now, just deploy. Yep. Look at this. It is listening to the main branch. So every time you push the code to the main branch, it will redeploy the project. And by the way, guys, make sure there is no TypeScript related error. Else it will fail the build. Just look at this. It is building. Aha, uh -huh, only absolute URLs are supported. Look at this, we have some error which is only absolute URLs are supported. We are gonna fix that. And this is deployed, I guess. Great, the project is deployed. So I click on visit. And look at this. Just go to stats. You should not have the data. In fact, you should see an error. Yep. And this is because we don't have the base endpoint set. So let's set this. Let's go to home page. Let's copy this base URL. And now just again go to your virtual. Click on this open dashboard. Let's go to settings. Okay. Let's click on this environment variables from the sidebar. And now let's set this. So just put the value here, the base endpoint. And now just copy the environment variable key, which is API base endpoint. Just go here, put it as the name, fine. Just add this, nice. And then the second one is this next public API base endpoint. Just copy this. And then again set another variable. The URL is just, again copy this. Put the value here, fine. Click on add. And that's it. And now we need to redeploy the project. So let's go to deployment. Just click on these three dots and click on redeploy. Click on redeploy again. That's it. Okay, ready. Just click on visit. Oh, by the way, guys, look at this. This is a different URL, and that is because Vercel gives you multiple URL. So don't worry about this. Just go to stats and look at this. We have our stats. Let's go to family and here it is. Let's make a donation. So just go to donate. Click on PayPal. I don't know the PayPal password, so let me just get that. Copy the password, go here, put it here, stay logged in, click on login. So I should see $10 at the top. Mm -hmm. Click on pay now. Great, just go to stats. Oh, something went wrong. What? Let's go to console. Ah, we have an error and that is because the code is so. Look at this. This is defined URL, right? So save Walter virtual dot app slash, uh, slash API slash donation. But this is making a request to a defined URL. So this is a code is so. So we need to fix that. Basically, we just need to go to the same URL, which is the save Walter dot virtual dot app because this is a global URL. Again, I told you that virtual gives you multiple URL. 
So just go to this main URL which is the savewalter.vertical.app, your project name dot virtual dot app. So here if you just make a donation, it will work. But there is another problem which is this. Look at this, we have this double slash, right? So we need to fix that. For that, just go to your code editor, just go to a donate page, and here just remove this slash. Where it is? Here it is. Remove this slash. Okay. So let's also refactor our project and then we are gonna redeploy the project. And then we are gonna test the donation. Cool. So basically, I found some bug which is related to the snap bar. I am on the stats page, right? So if I just refresh look at this this is changed to family and that is because just go to navbar.tsx and here i need to wrap this i need to wrap this anchor tag with the link but i wrap the link with the anchor tag okay so that's a problem so let's fix that i need to wrap this anchor tag with the link okay so let's change this and now it's fine it should work and the second thing is we have some ui related issues not issues actually but we can do a better job and that is inside this family look at this i have this family and friends but the friends should have a, a white color right so let's fix that just go to family.tsx and here just use this text yellow fine and then we can do a better job to render this image we can actually make a border around this image but the problem is in next image the rounded border does not work so we need to use a trick let's inspect and then just go to elements just click on this image and look at this this div which is automatically created by the next image so you can target this div and then apply the border so for that just go to code editor look at this we have a wrapper div here this wrapper div so basically let's put a class here nice so you can target this image wrapper right so just copy this image wrapper and now just go to global.css and let's target this image wrapper we need to target a direct div so for that just use this arrow and then div fine so let's use the border width of 3 pixel and then border radius is 50 percent and then the third thing is border color so border color this is a yellow one right so just copy this from this tailwind config.js just copy this yellow color just go to global css put this here nice save this and i think our refactor is done so again just make a commit git commit minus am refactored push this to the main branch so git push i am on the main branch yep git push and it should be pushed to the main branch the code is pushed to the main branch and now just go to your virtual just go to your virtual account mm -hmm. just click on the save walter okay click on this deployments you should see a deployment which is going on look at this look at this commit message which is refactored okay you don't need to set up the environment variables again don't worry about that okay ready 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 just go to save walter the previous url which is the save walter dot virtual dot app the zip phrase and this is the updated version okay just go to stats let's see if the bug is fixed or not the zip phrase and yep this is still in the stats so the bug is fixed just go to family and look at this we have a border around this image and our friends is also in white and now let's try to make a donation just go to donate let's say it one dollar uh first of all let me check the last donation let's go to stat this is five dollar right so let's select one dollar click on paypal mm -hmm. tip to click on pay now and i guess the donation is done just go to stats Look at this the last donation john one dollar so that's all for this video that's all for this project if you have faced any problem during the project please let me know in the comment section i'm super active in youtube okay so that's it please show some support by hitting the like button see you in the next video bye oh by the way guys all the codes will be available in the description box so if anything goes wrong in your code just check that out okay see you in the next video bye